I'm just saying all candid. Uh, what we're about to do now is uh, we're gonna shoot the Wet Wet Max on the 73. We're gonna go over those, uh, the graphics, the lines. That's the plan. Um, as I say, Wet Wet Max is our highest solid content at 44%. We're gonna shoot it wet. You know, if you were doing a regular paint job, base coat, clear coat, um, candy, what have you, you don't shoot our clears the conventional way. There is no tack coat, medium wet, and a flow coat. It is wet. You spray it wet. You want to treat your first coat like you do your last coat. Uh, you get wet, wet results when you shoot wet. So we're shooting wet. Our clear is designed to fill in the low spots, fill in the craters, fill in the nooks and crannies of bases, candies, orange peel from a candy job and then once it fills in the low spot it actually is designed to self level and uh, in our case now we've already cleared the whole car sanded it down with 600 I put the designs on it I've got an edge from the tape lines from doing all the artwork and taping up the design and doing all that work that what I want to do now is shoot a coat of clear over the top to kind of smooth that off, you know, to smooth all of that out so you don't see it, or really not don't see it, so you don't feel it. So that's what we're about to do now. We're going to shoot the uh, Wet Wet Max. It's a four to one mix ratio. We have it online as a four to one or say a gallon kit for those who have medium to smaller vehicles. But if you've got large vehicles, we offer a five quart kit online. Oh, click on the link in the description below. It'll take you right to the uh, the product if you need to get some. Working on a 73. We got a 73 Grand Deville for my man Brandon out there in Nashville. Oh, um, if you can see, it's uh, I like to call it the Pepto color, the Pepto Bismol color. He's got some gator that color that he's actually going to put on the uh, top. He's actually going to do a a see-through top with the uh, gator. And then he's gonna do his seat with the same material, but he's also got some pearl white gator. So what we ended up doing, we sprayed the Grandeville with the Pepto and uh, cleared it. The wet sanded it was 600. And now we laid the designs over the top. Now if you could tell, for those painters, who do graphic, I've got an edge. I've got an edge on the graphic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna submerge it. So what I'm about to do right now is uh, we're gonna clear over the graphic and I'm gonna use the Wet Wet Max, a 2.1 VOC. So it's actually California compliant, uh, Maryland compliant, any any state that has that 2.1 VOC compliant law for EPA, you can use it. Now it's a urethane. All right, the Wet Wet Max. As I was saying, California compliant, 2.1 VOC. It's a four to one mix ratio. Now, as you see on the label, it recommends 1.3 or 1.4 tip. 1.4, if you got it, use it on this one, man. This one here is our highest solid content at 44% solid content when it dries. Uh, you must shoot it 50 pounds. And like I always say, wait 20 to 25 minutes in between flash because of how solid. Now, um, because of how solid the content is. That's what you want to do. Definitely wait. Wet, wet max. Let's get it close up. Wet, wet max is what this is. Now we're going to go with the Wet Wet Max. Over the top of the graphics. For right now, I'm just going to do one coat of clear over the graphics just to submerge them down for right now. And because uh, I'm going to do some more work. I want to add shadows. I want to do some line work. And then I'm going to come back and re-clear over everything. Another uh, two to three more coats of clear over that. But right now, I just want to kind of bridge bridge that line. I want to bridge that line on out to where you don't feel the edge. And by doing that, we're going to use the Wet Wet Max. You can use the Wet Wet Plus is the one that uh, that one there is 42% high, uh, solid content. That was our highest until the Wet Wet Max just came out last month or just in the last month or two. Uh, 
been selling it for those who got a chance to go online and read what it is. Uh, especially for the California customers, we're actually shipping that all the way to you. The so Wet Wet Max is the only clear we can ship into California. Everything else, you've got to pick up in Vegas, you've got to pick up in Reno, you've got to pick up in Yuma, Arizona. Or candy. Or any of our other products. And uh, we're also going to shoot the framework on the top for them. We're going to put some clear on that along with the uh, the artwork. That's what we're about to do right now with the Wet Wet Max. Alright, this is all candy. We're actually dry. As you can tell. try to get the right angle of light but this is one coat now remember for those who know about clear this is one coat of the wet wet max as you can tell it's smoothed out those tape lines from the artwork and this is just one coat I say coat this is one coat from the Wet Wet Max. Look down the side, try to get in as close as I can so you can kind of see it. One coat of the Wet Wet Max is what we've got on here. Just so I can float out the design. As I say, I'm still gonna do some more touch-ups. Wanna get some pinstriping done. I wanna do some shadow effects on the metal, but I'd rather do that after I come back and I wet sand it. I'm gonna wet sand this now with 600, and uh, that's gonna get rid of the entire edge. See, can you see that? Trying to zoom in. See if we can look at it at a different angle, maybe. The edge is gone. There is no edge. 44% solid content when it dries. Back to what we're saying. No shrinkage, no dive back. Yeah. I shot it real heavy there. Got a little too close. Caused a little fish iron effect, but um, as you see, by looking at that, you can see how thick that clear is. And by looking at that, you can see that there is no tape line there. All that's gone. One coat, one coat of the Wet Wet Max submerged our tape lines. Okay, we back on it. Now, if you looked at the previous videos, I always talk about the Sharpie marker. I done showed you how to get rid of a run with a Sharpie marker. And uh, what we're doing is kind of using the same thing. We're using our marker as a guide coat. So what I'm doing is I'm going, I'm highlighting over those areas, over the lines, where the lines are. And I'm using it kind of like a guide coat. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use the, uh, the Dura Block, the one inch by one inch by 12. We've got the 600 sandpaper. And uh, as you can see, I've just gone on and outlined the areas. Well, some of them, I didn't do all of them. Uh, pretty much just showing you what we got going. I'm holding the camera myself, so I'm gonna work it on my own. So there's gonna be spots in between, but you already know. Take your water. It doesn't have to be soapy water, it could be just regular water for the most part, but for right now it just happened to be in the bucket, so I'm just using it for all intents and purposes. Now mind you, I'm sanding with 600, and I'm going over the artwork. Remember, I'm using guide coat as a, uh, I'm using a marker, I should say, as a guide coat. 
when I no longer see the marking, then what I do is I stop. See, the great thing about the marker is you know when to stop. There is no, oh, I just kept on going and I ran through the paint. That's why I say 600 is so easy because it, it cuts to the point. 600, for those who who use 1,000 or you know 800s or 1,200s because they figure, okay, hey, I don't want to go through the clear. First of all, it's because you don't have enough clear on it because you didn't use the wet wet or the wet wet plus or the wet wet max where of course we tell you to shoot it wet all three coats are shot wet never attack coat only on a reclear starting off a reclear is the only time you use attack coat so take that back other than that a regular paint job never attack coat never a mid coat or a medium wet coat and then a flow coat. It's wet, wait 20 to 25 minutes, come back, hit wet again, hit wet again, wait. Wait 20 minutes from when you stop. From when you stop. Wait 20 minutes from when you stop. Going all the way around. Once you go all the way around the car and you come to a complete stop and this is your first coat of clear, from that point is when you count down your 20 minutes. That's when you start your flash time. Not from when you started, but from when you come to a complete stop. 20 minutes from that point is what you do. Okay. Now what you want to do is rinse that off. Once you've uh, pretty much got it down and you don't see the marker anymore, remember, our lines are gone. You get your hard squeezy. Just to prove it to you, I'm gonna get a hard squeeze. You get the squeegee on out, and I'm just gonna go on and uh, squeegee back. I think I'm gonna do it from the opposite side so you can kind of tell. All right, we're gonna grab the blow. Now, as you can see, try to get as close as I can to that. As you can see, there is no edge. The edge has been eliminated. I didn't go through the paint. I didn't go into the paint. I still got plenty of clear over the top. One coat of the Wet Wet Max. As I said, one coat of the Wet Wet Max, I was able to submerge the artwork. Now, I went on, get some more sanding over here so you can kind of see too, same thing. That's a better light angle, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about now that I don't. Squeeze it back.
been eliminated. So now, as I said, what I'm gonna do now is just go back and wet sand the car and get it all prepped up, do my rest of my artwork, tape up, do the rest of the shadow casting I wanna do, anything I wanna do to the artwork, you know, give it some more highlights, Think about adding some pin dryer for giving it some character, give it some roughness. Don't make it so clean, I think, I'm gonna do on this one. But bottom line, the lines are gone. The edge of all the uh, artwork that I did is submerged. Now I'm just gonna wet sand the rest of the, uh, as I said, you can see, I go to wet, wet max. This is wet, wet max. We started off like that with the clear over the top, then I take the marker, I take the, the, the Magnum Sharpie, this is with a medium style, but I take the Magnum Sharpie, and you go over all your lines, and then you go with uh, 600 on the uh, on the Dura Block, on, on this one, here's the one I like to use, and you can use this, and then you just go to wet sand at 600. And once the, uh, as you can see, once the uh, lines are gone, once the marker has uh, dissolved, diminished, been uh, wet sanded away, that lets you know when to stop. You know when to stop, when not to continue, and that's the whole problem with a lot of us. A lot of folks, 99% of the people don't know when to stop, and this trick right here tells you when to stop, cut. It lets you know when to stop cutting so you don't go through on the run. Say so this is one of my tricks that I'm sharing with all you guys. And this is what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start doing more instructional videos or more how-to tips on certain, you know, like say, some of this technical stuff on the airbrush work. How to get over the hump, you know. I'm gonna show you guys if you catch a run in candy what to do, you know. So we're, we're gonna do some things. Like I said, we're gonna do some things, but uh, let me show you this real quick again, just so you can see it, and so you don't think, okay, that, that was just a whole lot of clear because that was uh, on a horizontal surface and not a vertical surface. So, I'm gonna show you the same thing here. As I say, I'm by myself, so I've got to uh, hold this block and do what I gotta do and kind of hold the camera so you guys don't think that uh, I'm not doing it or something else is shady going on because 10 is far from shady, baby. Like I say, this, this is a whole lot of me hitting potholes. I don't hit potholes anymore. I don't hit them. I know how to get out of them. I know how to go around them. So now I'm sharing that insight with you. My customers, my future customers, my uh, newfound YouTube fans, fanatics, hobbyists, the whole bit. These tips aren't just for the pros, they for the beginners. They, these were, cause that, that, that's how I found out about a lot of these tips. It's because I was a beginner and nobody wanted to show me how to paint a vehicle simply because I already knew how to airbrush. And they figured that would give me the up, the ups on people if they showed me how to paint a car since I already knew how to airbrush at the time. So I taught myself, so a lot of this information that you're getting doesn't come out the book. This isn't what you learn at UTI. This isn't what you learn at the Vote Tech. This isn't what you learn in school. This is what you learn in the world. And, uh, especially in the world of custom, this is what you learn. Production work, something totally different. But here in the, uh, in the world of uh, custom, you learn what you have to learn. You get it how you get it. So believe me when I tell you, these tricks work, the clear works, everything we speak about here 
actually does what it says. And there's been painters who've been still sitting on the paint, sitting on the fence. There's still painters still sitting on the fence for the last four or five years since I've been uploading videos, sitting on the fence. For the last four or five years, we've been selling this product online. And uh, you need to try some. Because this product here has the quality. It's at a more affordable price, especially if you deal with the big bulls. All the heavyweights, all the big names, the Shermans, the, the DuPonts, the PPs, the PPGs, I should say, the uh, Lazarus. If you're spending $300 plus, $250 plus for clear, and uh, you have to wet sand and buff the car because it died back, it shrunk back, then you're using the wrong product. You want to give us at least a try. Give us at least a try. Um, and then you can say you don't like the wet wet. But until you try, don't think that you got the best clear on the market. Look at the reviews. Look at other customers who have uploaded videos talking about talking about the product. Do you think? Do you think you're the only painter that has used that clear that you're using right now? And these other folks or the other painters, other folks have not used it. No, they've used everything you're using. The only thing is, they don't use it anymore. They're using the wet wet. They're using all candy and. Uh, They're getting the results that you're not getting. So I say just try it on out. Give it a try. Buy a quart. If you're that skeptical, buy a quart. <clears throat> if you finally understand that, hey, this is an investment that I need to make because you will save time. You will save money. This will become your clear of choice. Wet Wet, the original Wet Wet, the Wet Wet Plus, and now California compliant 2.1 DOC, the uh, Wet Wet Max. So for all you guys in California that have been looking at the videos, this is the only clear we can ship to your door, the Wet Wet Max. And it happens to be our highest solid content at 44%, 2% thicker than the Wet Wet Plus. We, it, it is a four to one mix ratio, so you only get a gallon in the quart if you buy the four to one or the gallon set up. Uh, but we offer a five quart kit which product wise gives you a gallon and a half plus sprayable so you'll be equivalent to a 2.1 mix ratio so at least you have a gallon and a half for those bigger vehicles trucks SUVs low riders old school 60s 70 models suburban you know the whole bit you'll have enough product with the five core kit to give you what you're looking for for those in California but this wet wet max is the only one and it is your thing it is compatible with any urethane base, with any waterborne, with any uh, polyester based paint. You can put it over any one of those surfaces, you won't have a problem. Uh, and it's 2.1 VOC, California compliant. Back to what I'm saying. Lines are gone. The edge is gone. The little bit that's there. Of course, if I sand a little bit more, I can get rid of it completely. But for sake of uh, demonstration purposes, that edge is gone. That edge is gone. So now you can actually come back, do your graphics, do your um, you know, your graphics your pinstriping, your gold leafing, you can do all of this. This will cover over gold leaf. This will cover over your pinstripe work. This is 
the clear of choice of a lot of pinstripers. They're finding out about us too because of the product. They, they've been doing their trade shows. Isaac, uh, Mr. Blondell, Steve the Wizard, he's used our product. A lot of pinstripers are familiar with the work. They're familiar with the, uh, the Wet Wet, the Wet Wet Plus, and now our highest solid content, Wet Wet Max, that you can use to cover lines, submerge lines. But this is what you have to do. This is what you need to use so you don't feel those lines. So for the customers out there, if, uh, if you can run your finger across that artwork and he can actually feel the lines, then uh, they didn't use the Wet Wet Max. They didn't double clear it. They didn't do what I'm showing you you need to do. So you don't feel the lines. They have to be submerged. You have to use high side of clear. Our clear is the best choice in because it doesn't die back. It doesn't shrink. So one coat, as you can tell, got rid of my lines. So what you think three coats would have done? You, you wouldn't have had any lines. I could have wet sanded it, buffed it, been done with it. But because I know I still want to add pinstripe, because I know I still want to do some more airbrushing, add some shadow effects, that's the only reason I put one coat of uh, clear over everything. Just so I have something covering over the artwork and then I can come back and finish it. But it's your man Tian, all candy. We're with the Pepto. We're gonna have another video once we get this pretty much well completed and finished. We'll put the completion video on up. Um, 1973 Grand Deville, Pontiac Grand Deville, from my man Brandon out there in Nashville. We're going Pepto Bismol in color with the uh, pearl white gator stripes ripping through, you know, with, with the rips, with the uh, with the rip back metal. This 10 all candy 318-918-0331. Call me direct. Answer any questions. Call me direct to order. Download the app. You can place your order. Uh, also, in the link or in the description, click on the link. You know, I've got an Instagram. Uh, I haven't really been doing much on Instagram, but I'm going to start. So, uh, we're going to start doing a lot more pictures and a lot more updates on Instagram. So, go to the Wet Wet on Instagram and follow and uh, you'll start seeing updates, you'll start seeing videos. Plus, uh, just a heads up too, uh, I'm doing a lot more traveling, going out of town, because I don't know if you guys know or if you paid attention, if you joined the email. Uh, my wife is the first female drummer of Southern Soul and Blues Music. She uh, actually plays the TK Soul, which he is the number one, he's the, he's the number one singer in Southern Soul music right now, blues. He's a heck of a performer. You could actually click on the link below too and uh, go to her website. Like I say, she's got her own channel. Click on the link below, pocketcandy.com, and you can see all the live footage from the, uh, the upcoming video, or like I say, from concert videos where they've been on the shows. You can actually see that, especially for, for blues fans, people who are into the blues, click on the link and you can go see all the latest, uh, all the latest videos. Plus, the other thing is, is that uh, I'm gonna start using that Instagram that in certain cities that we go to when I ride with her, so I could do some footage, so I could do the videoing, which uh, we upload to the to the website, to the Pocket Candy. Um, when I come to, you know, when I come through certain times, I'm gonna start giving you guys heads up, letting you know, hey, I'm coming through such and such town or th such and such city. Hey, give me a call, let me know, maybe we can meet, hook on up, take a look at the shop, you know, feel free, give me a holler. Just like say, follow me on Instagram and that's how you'll find out where we're at on which weekends and no telling, we might be coming close to your town where you come hang out with us. Come check us out over there at the concert, enjoy a show, plus get a chance to talk with me, you know, if you like. 
This man tin all candy, leaving them on the wet wet here in the dungeon. Showing you how to submerge those lines for your artwork. <laughs>